Hello everyone, welcome to a game of EU4, where today I'm going to be playing a game of Sweden. Now I've never actually played Sweden properly in this game, but they do have discipline. I'm a quite, I quite like my discipline. Some cavalry cost, manpower recovery, yearly absolutism, goods produced, I do like goods produced. Nice infantry combat ability, land leader. Now I've never actually, I've played Denmark. And I've played, uh, uh, what's that other one? Not Norway. I've played in this region before as Muscovy, where I just uh, steal um, Finland. I'm gonna put this on Iron Man. I have played a little bit in the area. I played. Well, I've played all of the other big nations. I've actually never done a game of Sweden, which is kind of weird. Now, of course, they did win Eurovision this, se uh, this year. Looking forward to that next year. Was a big fan of the Finland and Norway songs, so kind of funny how we're playing in this area. Now, if, if I'm going to turn down the volume slightly. Um, that sounds better. Anyway. From what I know, well, yeah, Sweden got, well, got a new set of missions, and uh, not the newest one. Uh, the one before it. The, is it called Lions of the North? I can't remember. But yeah, they ga gave them a new focus tree uh, that lets them, well, they get support from Denmark's rivals. So they've got England, Burgundy, and Poland. Wouldn't mind Poland. England, England are a bit useless, useless when it comes to anything in mainland Europe. Uh, Burgundy's all right. Get some, get uh, a general by the looks of things I would assume uh, but yeah so a lot of stuff to get yourself independent and then it gives you oh this goes on for for a while oh bronzing mission reformation probably going to go yeah I'm going reformation for line of the north going to try and be the leader of the protestants uh, ooh, a bit of color uh Colonism, colonialism. Uh, that's such a hard word to say for so just no reason. Um, integrating Sami, all that. Uh, right. Okay. So first things first, independence. After that, survival. So let's go for that. I'm just gonna see some land first. Starting at 25 is a bit weird. <coughs> usually, usually other nations start at 30. Right. So, does not... Free privileges granted to at least two estates. Does not... Okay. That's fine, I can set that up then. I'm going to give... The clergy, where is it? I'm gonna take religious diplomats and oversight. Nobility, probably gonna give them right of council. Is there any interesting ones? Um, ooh. That's actually quite nice. I'm going to take court positions. Ooh, free enterprise. And... Ooh, that actually looks quite nice as well. The only problem is the 5% all power cost. Um, 
That might be later. Um, gives me someone. Oh, you can make a decision. Uh, burger economic freedom. Scaled with estate influence. That actually might be good to give as well. I'll give that. So need to be free privileges, free privileges. Um, reform progress. Ooh, yeah, I'll take clerical education and. Yeah, ar aristocratic councillors. Okay, that should do. It gives me support from the estates. Right. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, discipline for 75%. That's actually quite good. To repay the debt, we have to enact a decision. Stockholm has an update for 20 army tradition. Complete four agendas will have 10% crown land. Oh, they have to have less than 10%. Um, yeah, that might be... That might be alright, actually. Um, probably better to take that, actually. Don't really want to have um, that affect us for the entire game. That's a uh, gender will become king of Sweden if we win the in independence war. Oh, that's quite nice. Johan Vasa. All right, so that just means what's that I need now? Swedish allies and army. Uh, I need to employ the free company. And then rivals of the Schoon, so Poland and England. All right, so that should be fine for now. And then that means I can just declare independence. I'm assuming, yeah, not a subject, okay. Oh, that pretty much ties in pretty well, actually. Every rival enemy, which is at least zero opinion, will support the independence. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, that's a lot of lot of people, actually. Um. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually might be fine already. I didn't know the independence war was uh, quite so simple, actually. Right. In this war, I probably want to try and take land uh, from Denmark. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I need to kind of catch them. Yeah, let's catch them. Nice little victory there. Push them here. Ooh, uh, yeah. No, that doesn't look good. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to retreat to Stockholm. Never mind, we're going past Stockholm. Okay, that's fine. I got Norway, though. Yeah, Norway's got no troops. So we should be fine for now. Crossover. It's probably a terrible idea. Oh no, I own both sides, it's fine.
We have three companies deciding we don't want to move. There we go. Now it's moving. Need to make sure that they don't take Elfsburg because I want I want to be able to push push up to Lund. Want to kind of take Lund, well this entire Skeinland. Want to take all of that. Want to also take Bahuslund. Kind of want to take stuff from Norway as well. Oh, they're going in there. Right. Lithuania and Poland, come with me. Nice little victory there. That should force Denmark back over the strait. There we go. Okay, we should have full control of this area for now then. How much will this... Yeah, uh, demand independence. Grant independence, and I want that, and that, and that will be demanding blacking. Ah, I'll need to take the four as well. Right, force force Verdun out. Not Verdun, Verdun. Unless. Is that actually... Is Verdun for... No. No, no, that's Verdun. I'm done. I promise I know my geography. Right, so eventually I'm going to have to go to war with... Austria as well. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to war with them with the uh, with the Protestant League. But if I want uh, the if I want the Volcast lands, then I'm gonna <laughs> gonna have to fight them earlier. Maybe I can catch them when they're at war with um with the Ottomans. Nice little, nice little cheeky. Cheeky uh, smash and grab. I want to say, with the new mission tree, this war of independence is very easy. In fact, I, I usually see independent Swedens all the time. So maybe it was easy even before the change. Might go after you know what I might go after Riga first Riga and Livonia. I think Riga now has um, something that means they can add themselves to the HRE. I've seen it happen a couple, couple in, a couple recent games, which is just kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to invade, invade them. Mainly as Russia. Oh, it wants me to go for Novgorod as well. Uh, they, oh, I actually might be able to grab that before the Russians, actually. I should go for Novgorod first. Because uh, I can catch... Get them before um, Russia does. Which would be helpful. Because Muscovy is going to be the main main rival, I think, for this entire game. Maybe Austria. Austria and Muscovy. France uh, France has sounded like a good ally then. Probably keep Poland as well. I'll keep Poland. Poland will probably inherit Lithuania. I'll get rid of England and Burgundy and get France. Just as a counterbalance. Mainly because they hopefully rival Austria. No, they don't. Who's rivaling Austria? Burgundy. Um, I 
think I'd rather friends, but I'm not sure. My allies are having this real easy in the in the mainland part. <laughs> Grab that fort. I grab this fort. There, they take Oldenburg. Force Oldenburg out. I take more of Norway, and then I can take what I want in the peace deal. Stability, legitimacy, at uh, peace. Kingdom of Poland. Interesting. I think I'll probably take whatever one gets me closer to Poland. It's probably for the best. I mean, because at this point, I think Poland, Poland are going to be the main allies. Maybe France. Gustav. He looks. Uh, he's probably worse than his dad. That's some bad admin. Um, oh, the consort's quite good. Well, I didn't see that. Looks like Denmark's trying to uh, force us out. That's fine. Stop building with England, and I shall take what is rightfully mine. Yeah, I'll take it only this. Take some gold to pay off debt. Oh. Johan oh yeah no yeah he's so much better I'm gonna get him that's good right where is this mission European politics 50% uh, off I shall take that the Novgorod Livonia Denmark. Now I'm probably going to go straight for Novgorod actually. Just before, well, so I can keep the free company around. That is, if I, yeah, I've got, got it. Nope. Yeah. Novgorod. Should be able to take this by myself. I'm going to take him. Never. Gonna wait for my troops to get there. Never. Go for go for Novgorod. So, I'm probably going to take South Karelia, maybe the province, well, the province of Novgorod, maybe the state. Probably could to get the state. I uh, should probably actually deal with that army first. Ooh. Stack wipe there. I wasn't expecting that. I'll take the stack wipe though. Uh, assuming it, it's 9k to take that. Uh, I'll send the mercenaries down. Yeah, Muscovy's up where I need to take Neva actually. 
they've got 29k, but I have Poland. And um, ever since the update that they gave Sweden their up updated focus tree, they've made Poland almost unstoppable at times. So it's good to have them on my side for once. Kojin Skaneland area will become Swedish. Add Denmark as a historical rival. Might be worth making them Swedish, but at the same time, we're in the same we're in the same uh, group. So if I ever become an empire, it sorts itself out. So oh, but it loses ten years of separatism. I'll put that on the side for now. I'm going to try and uh, try and win this war first. Well, anyway, I'm just going to stall it a little. Just gonna do it. I'm never gonna have uh, Denmark. I don't think as a friend, especially when I'm gonna try and claim the Norwegian crown later. Claim the Norwegian crown. Point sixty nine twenty years. Um. Okay. Yeah. No, I will be able to go to war with uh, Norway. Right, let's see how France is. They probably want to, probably want to ally us. I'm assuming it's because I'm friends with Burgundy in England. Yeah. Oh, there goes Novgorod. Right, okay. Send both armies down to deal with Danish separatists. And I will make peace. Except they won't give me Novgorod. Um, that's kind of a problem. Kind of need that. Oh, actually, I let it take over, and I might be able to take it. In fact, I might be able to take more. Um, Novgorodian really is a fierce negotiator. Negotiator. It's kind of a problem. By England. <laughs> Probably should have taken that before Muscovy got. Uh, oh well. I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, that's actually going to be good money as well. Yeah, I'll take that. German coastline, the legacy, own cause, devastation less than one, have a centralization effort. Gain Novgorod. Okay, yeah, that's useful. I'm going to do that one next, I think. Probably going to invade Gotland, I would say. Take core. Oh, they're in the trade league. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that must be. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> right, that's the Danish Danish dealt with. Ooh, and oh, no. Oh, sh Boot. That's actually quite bad. Uh, I'll probably hire more mercenaries to deal with that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Pretty bad timing, actually.
dear lord. Can I have some good luck, please? Whoa. Looming disaster. Peasants war. Ah, oh, no. Alright, there we go. Get rid of you. Oh. Right, I need to sort... Sword. Oh my! I didn't even realize my legitimacy. Yeah, this is this is going to be a situation, I think. There we go. Novgorod is now a ho home garder. Der. Swedish people, you can tell me how to pronounce that because I have no clue. Quite a cool name though, quite like it. Definitely, mm, not sure if it's better than the name Novgorod, but still pretty good. However, while we're talking about that, that it looks like we're definitely going to have a peasant war, which is... Uh, not the greatest. Definitely didn't want that. Gonna be... Yeah, 1453. Yeah, that's gonna happen in like two months. Not the greatest of starts, actually. Yeah, after after what I thought was pre a pretty good start. Stability, legitimacy. Yeah, that's not coming soon. Crown of Norway. Fall of Denmark. Yeah, here we go. Here become here comes the the fun part. How do you end up in ah oh, stability at least one? By a sudden turn of events, it looks like Bohemia has w uh, become the HRE leader. This happened. Like, it happens a lot now, nowadays, where Austria just loses, loses the HR. They must have not, uh, not had a heir by the looks of things. De Trastamara. Castile. What on? Okay. I I've never seen Granada do well. This is, um, unexpected. I would say. Galicia. Welcome back. Saint Clement. What on earth? Ottoman conquest of Corfu. Oh. So Venice and Castile must have. Yeah, Ca Castile's allied with Venice. So. Oh, I don't know. Granada, Granada must have taken some during the war, I would assume. How long do we have the truce? There's some time taken from that truce. When on earth did Granada do that? Looks like Muscovy's going for Livonia. I should probably go for Livonia as well, but this um, this peasant uh, rebellion is uh, really hindering any progress at the moment. My navy successfully gets us across, gets us across into Shreiland, which means that this war uh, for the Norwegian crown is probably going to end in my favour. 
unless the Polish decide to leave, which they have, this m might be a slight problem. Never mind, the Polish are back. Thank you, Poland. Get v Verden out of this wall. Oldenburg as well. Quite a quite a simple war, really. Especially now that we've gotten rid of the peasant war. Nice, nice, simple. We've also got a new, a new person in charge, Sten Stavsen, six six three. I am quite happy with that. However, we are now, we've now got Jagiel on instead of uh, Vara. Must have ha must have happened during the hectic. The hectic time after um, our last king died. Quite, quite, um, quite bad actually. Well, not really. Uh, brings us closer to Poland. Until they decide to elect a different family. So I'm going to claim the Norwegian crown here and yeah I'm going to take take uh, Schreiland as well we have basically all of Denmark under Swedish control we'll just sit this one out wait until we've got enough war score to grab Schreiland and also the Norwegian crown And there we go. Norway joins us in a personal union, and we also get Shailand, which is now um that uh Shaland Sha I I apologize. I am going to be butchering most of these words. I butcher most of the English words as well, so yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> All right, now that we've done stabilize the kingdom, let's see what we can pick for the crown of Poland. So for this one, uh, we get restoration of union. This is just invading them. Uh, become historical friends. That's the one I'm probably going to go for. Uh, 600, adds them, went to... Make them completable by having a Polish ally owning them instead. That's fine. I like that. King of Poland. Poland trust at least 80 and for them to be slightly stronger. Okay, well, I think it's time to uh, trade favors for trust. No. I want. How do I? Get, how do you get more trust? Trust for increase in time. Okay, fair enough. Gives us ten trust. Yeah, no, that that was right. It looks like Granada's having some rebel problems from uh, Castile. I would have thought so. <laughs> They've got oh. Okay, so they probably just lost to the rebels. I would assume, unless... Unless they just won, but it was close. But I think they've lost. I would... Uh, if it stays like this, I think... Um, I think Granada's probably going to lose some of that territory back to Castile, which is a shame. I was actually looking forward to having what could have been our Andalus. Even I haven't done that mission yet. Well, that achievement, actually. I think this is a good place to leave it for now. Nice big Sweden. Got Norway in the personal union. Got Novgorod, now home. And we've also taken the capital of Denmark, leaving them in a weak place and giving us uh, the sound toll, meaning we've probably got the got a good control of this area. Lubeck and Danzig have more control at the moment, but that's something we can work on. 
next time, probably a war with Muscovy. Maybe, maybe take Riga, Gotland. Maybe, well, I would take out the rest of Denmark as well. And help out Poland and Lithuania. So if you did, did enjoy that, I want to see more. Uh, like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Uh, that's, uh, that's about it. I'll see you later.